Guys, I'm back and I've got Unreal open, the Unreal SDK open. And we're going to start by uh, opening, going to browser Windows Content Browser. And um, <coughs> I'm going to import uh, this file. And I'm not going to be worrying about the packaging group and everything and stuff like that. I'm just going to import it just so I can show you how to, how to do the flipbook thingy. Okay, down in the uh, scroll down menu here, uh, let's look for it. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, there it is. Uh, right under, well, <laughs> alphabetical order, Flipbook. Um, right under Dither, Mitmaps, Alpha, and just above Lightmap is Flipbook. So I want to check that. And let's hit OK. And give it more than a handful of seconds. And go to package zero, my package, and there we are. Got this file in, and we'll give that a double click. And we want to go in here and set our parameters. So we want to go down here to um, frame rate, and it's like any other frame rate, uh, frames per second. And I'll say 15 frames per second. And when we look at our images, how many horizontal images are there? Well, what's the square root of the amount of images? It, we have 36 images, square root is 6. We have 6 um, uh, images going across, 6 images going down. So horizontal images is 6. And we have at the very bottom, I don't know why, why didn't they just didn't put these right next to each other. Very bottom, vertical images, 6. Okay, and what else am I looking for here? Oh, FB method. Basically what this is, is it tells exactly where the starting point of the animation on the flipbook is going to be. So from here, TFBM UL row basically starts at the upper left hand corner, goes across to the right hand corner, drops down and all the way back, and kind of does in a zigzag pattern. And it does animation that way. Just like you're reading a book, when you scan from left to right, drop down, go to the left, back to right, drop down, go to the left, back to right. And we'll just hit close and go down new material. And we'll just name this anim, animation. That opens it up. You know, make sure we have our our file selected. Go down, where is it? Under texture, it's actually the flip first one, flipbook sample. Just click and drag that in there. Now let me open this up a little bit. And we'll take the top one here, the RGB, and we'll plug that into diffuse. And I actually have the um, uh, preview thing here. Actually, let me open this up here. I actually have the preview uh, set to, I guess it's panel. Yeah, plane. Set to plane. So you can have it set to sphere. Uh, you can have it set to a cube. It looks pretty cool. Or you can have it set to um, cylinder. But I have it set to plane so you can actually see, you know, the actual animation itself. Um, no, it's, I'm just going to screw around with this a little bit. Um, I'm going to brighten it up. So if I take the RGB go over to uh, emissive. Eh, it's not too bad. Now let's brighten it up a little bit. So let's go to let's see here. Let's bring out a constant and let's find a multiply and let's bring this out. It's up here. Going to turn this constant to 0.5. Plug it in. Well, actually, no. I'm going to make this a little bit higher. So 1.5. And I'm plugging RGB into A. Multiply into emissive. And it just tightens the brightness a little bit. Okay. So now we're going to go up to the top here. We're going to save it. And right next to we have the eyeball, which is toggle expression real time preview. Okay, so that allows us to see everything in real time. 
Now we go over one toggle real time expression viewport. So in the actual expression viewport over here, uh, where we have our preview material, you can see a little animation going on. Now if you want to see it over here in the actual large preview, hit the next one over, looks like a little joystick toggle real time, real -time material preview. There you go. Got our little uh, animation going there. And um, if you notice, it just keeps on going because it's I made it a loopable, looped animation. So uh, there you go, my friends. We created the flipbook animation for the Unreal SDK or Unreal 3 game engine uh, using After Effects and uh, some pretty decent After Effects work, uh, expressions work in After Effects. Um, so hopefully... Oh, you guys learned something and enjoy what I did and hopefully it wasn't too boring for you um, and, uh, with thesis and work and looking for a job and, and trying to pay bills this is probably the last time for a while that you're going to hear from me <clears throat> so it's, it's, I don't know when I'm actually going to have free time to get out and do more tutorials and basically I did this one because I was you know found something cool while working on my thesis and I figured I'd you know give this to you guys in hopes that y'all might need it. Okay, so until the next time, if you guys have some questions or anything, feel free to email me, and uh, I guess we'll see you on the flip side. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.